Welcome back. This weather is impacting both our local airports, DFW International and Lumpfield. DFW Airport is de-icing planes already, and both airports are seeing some flight delays and some cancellations as well. Joining me on the phone is Lauren Rounds. She's the communications manager at Lovefield Airport. Thank you for taking the time out to talk with us, Lauren. Thanks for having me. Of course. So tell us, what are things looking like right now at Lovefield? We took one of the live shots, and it looks really foggy out there. Yeah, so the cold front is moving in, and several of the flights on today's schedule have been canceled or delayed. And our team is out there right now pre-treating the runways, and they're going to also do the taxiways and the roadways to keep us operational um, as this weather heads on into our, into our part of town. Mm. At this point, are you aware of how many cancellations and delays you're dealing with? I don't have a specific number, but it is it is growing as the uh, weather gets a little more intense. I bet. If you look at our boards, you'll see plenty of red and yellow uh, representing delays and cancellations. Right, and you're, you're telling passengers to check their flight status. How are you dealing with uh, stranded passengers today? Anytime we have large-scale disruptions, it's customary for our staff, our team, to be available and assist uh, the customers who are unable to travel and may need to stay at our airport. We offer cots and blankets and pillows as requested as, you know, supplies are uh, available. And then mm -hmm. we also can offer snacks. And we have a limited number of our concessions partners that remain open throughout the day and night to accommodate those passengers as well. Hey, Lauren, we also know that there's a, an ice storm warning in effect from central Arkansas to western Tennessee. So, you know, things are happening across the country. And is this ultimately affecting what's happening at Love Field? We, it's our goal to remain operational. Um, granted, we do not make the call on mm -hmm. whether it's safe to fly or not. That falls to the FAA. But our team uh, constantly monitors surface temperatures and conducts friction tests on the runways. And then they share that with the FAA, who will then uh, determine if the skies and the runways are, you know, safe or unsafe for operations based on those friction tests and different weather reports. Mm, makes sense. Well, good luck to you guys out there. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Lauren Rounds, communications manager at Love Field. We'll